17-year-old Sophia Musalam is an entrepreneur, founder of Boom Baby Boom, an online store and information outlet for pregnant women and mothers. Sophia is one of a new group of female entrepreneurs emerging in the Gaza Strip. There are like, what you're doing, and you're wasting time, or it won't get, uh, you won't get anything after that. And also, you're young, you're woman. Uh, you're in the tech business and it's for guys. In a population of 1.8 million, about 20% of working age women are in the labor force, according to the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics. Still, we are uh, in a patriarchal society, that there is a discrimination against women. In recent years, the democratically elected ruling party Hamas has mandated gender segregation in schools, forced a dress code on female university students, and banned women from running in the Gaza Marathon. Still, a few women are forging ahead. With the help of Google, global aid agency Mercy Corps launched Gaza's first startup accelerator, Gaza Sky Geeks, in 2011. And in 2014, a mentor program aimed specifically at women brought results. Nearly 50% of the startups in GSG's pipeline today are led by women. That compares starkly with America, where under 5% of tech startup founders are female. Gaza faced uh, more than three wars in less than six years. All these uh, circumstances uh, affected the life of women. Each time during the conflict and for months after, women, especially mothers to young children, had to fend for water, food, basic survival necessities. Even today, homes lie in rubble and power outages are frequent. 24-year-old Hadil El Safadi, who has launched her own animation studio called Newtune, says she was only able to do this because of the facilities offered at Gaza Sky Geeks, like electricity, a computer, the internet. ممكن كمان المكتب يفيدنا بعلاقات بسوشيال ميديا بكل الأشياء ممكن يربطونا مع ناس تنين خارجيين وهذا بحد ذاته ممكن يكون إنجاز كتير كبير للمشاريع تبعتنا. سعيد حسان، communication consultant at Gaza Sky Geeks، said one aspect of life in Gaza that makes entrepreneurship a little bit easier for women is ease of travel. Well, being a woman entrepreneur in Gaza, it's much easier for you to get visas and to get outside of Gaza. Gaza has two crossings for people, the Eris crossing controlled by Israel in the north and the Rafah crossing into Egypt in the south. Permits for Eris are extremely hard to get and for Rafah, men need visas but women don't. Newtune is building clients in Egypt, Jordan and Saudi Arabia with plans to expand into other markets in the Middle East. <laughs> Twenty-four-year-old Tamar Jama is launching a recipe-sharing app called Zaki. She and her husband were interviewing with Silicon Valley accelerator Blackbox in the summer of 2014 as bombs were falling outside their window. Today, Zaki's Facebook group has over 60,000 members. Meanwhile, Sophia plans to launch Boom Baby Boom just after she's done with high school. Her dreams, like those of other female entrepreneurs in Gaza, are not only for herself. I hope women can be understood from all the society that we can do a lot. We are the same as the men in Gaza and in the whole world.